Eh, no dumpling. <laughs> Alright, so, hello everybody, welcome to this stream of Crunch. Essentially, this is like one of those Super Meat Boy kind of like game, except that you can move in all directions, and there's, there's pretty much a perpetual time limit uh, element to this game because, well, we're just gonna go and see. Oops, wrong button. So, yeah, essentially, we're a bunch of little misshapen dudes that look like giant spheres with giant eyeballs, and apparently, octopuses are. Losing control out of us all. Yeah, essentially, the whole uh, the whole presentation of the game is pretty much retro. It's like uh, the music and all of this is pretty chippy, but at the same time, it kind of have these realistic drum sounds, which just make it sound even more nice. So yeah, essentially it's just a, f a matter of you have to negotiate the ability, the obstacles correctly. You also have a boost, a speed boost ability that you have to use, but when you boost, it also lowers your health. So you must choose the right opportunities for you to start going fast, because otherwise you're just gonna end up being on the brink of death. And finally, just to add even more. Uh, just to add even more replayability to the whole thing, every single level have those collectibles, and essentially you have to collect them in order to get an even higher score than normal. And yeah, right here you can also see the other element of the of the game, which pretty much makes it so that it's one of those games that have a perpetual time limit because. Usually most of the levels in the game will have a crushing wall that will just perpetually go down toward you, so you always need to keep moving in this game. And yeah, you have to be very careful, but just like Super Meat Boy, whenever you do a mistake, it's really quick for you to go back in the action. I like the fact that little dude looks like a little goatee. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a one-eyed Santa Claus robot. It's totally good to look at you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, spikes in this game don't instantly kill you. Instead, they just slightly lower your health. So you just need to make it so that you don't really hit too many things all at once, because otherwise then you're gonna horribly suffer. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah. For the most part, this is a pretty forge... forge not the... Yeah, it's a pretty forgiving game, because there's definitely a whole lot of slack that the game will cut you for failing, so you don't really need to do everything perfectly in order for things to be going alright. Like, I got slashed by a dude, but that eh, doesn't really matter. He's just laughing at me because I got way too impatient. So it doesn't penalize you too hard. Yep. And yeah, essentially the reason why I'm collecting all of those things is because, well, you get points and you have to be careful because in this one level, for instance, uh, you don't really have too much layaway in order to be able to collect everything. Yeah, I needed to get away from all of this. And no, by the way, this is not how I look like in real life. People can attest to this, I don't have a beard. No, clean shaven. I shall be able to confirm this next year. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, sometimes it can get really hectic whenever you have to collect all of the things. It's like, it's not obligatory, but once again, you're doing this in order to get more points. And yeah, by the way, the uh, like somebody pointed out in the chat, the audio for this game is simply marvelous. The soundtrack is really, really good, and there's a whole lot of really nice sounding retro sound effects at, at the same time. The presentation for this game is really good for the most part, and oh shit, uh, Oh dear. I don't think... Okay, we're making it, Woo! Yay! Checkpoint! It's like, what I really like with the soundtrack of this game is how the soundtrack is both pretty dark and... Ugh! Okay, whew! Oh no. It's like, the soundtrack is pretty oppressive, but at the same time, it's really, really catchy and driving, and it further drives the urgency feeling of this game. All in all, I gotta say, this is a game that have been very well executed for the most part. I'm having, like, hardcore flashbacks to, um... Quick man lasers. <laughs> yeah, you better get used to that kind of thing because this is something that you're gonna see a whole lot in this game. 
But yeah, the difficulty curve, however, for this game kind of rises quick. You really don't have a whole lot of time to get into your bearings, but at least for the most part, it's still rather easy. I mean, if we were playing a game like Super Meat Boy, maybe that would be hard because then you will instantly die upon hitting those saw blades. But hey, you don't have that kind of... Uh, uh, ah, no, uh, oh shit. Oh dear. Oh yep. dear. And, no, by the way, I did not try to play this with a keyboard. I'm not oh, sure that... I'm not really sure... Base? Well, you can play this with a keyboard or with a Xbox 360 controller or anything that can emulate a Xbox 360 controller. Pick your poison. Uh, oops. <laughs> And yeah, by the way, that's not really my first time playing this game. I definitely played it quite a bunch, but I wanted to stream it just in order to spread a little bit more awareness concerning this game, because I really think that it's a neat game for the most part. You think we only need it tonight? Uh, yeah, it's really not a long game. It's like, the first game of that that I had, I finished the game in about an hour and a half. And lately, I've managed to shorten my time to almost down to an hour, so we're gonna try to see if we can do better. Alright, ah. I'm holding you to this. Yep. And after Let's that... Time's it now, evil 7, alright. And yeah, you even have little booze into this one game. Oh, they're kind of adorable. Yeah, but they're still pretty dead. You gotta be careful. But hey, for the most part, there's close to nothing in this game which is instant kill, apart maybe from being crushed, and finally the little s glowing spheres that you see around the play- uh, Oh my god! <laughs> and, well, I'm not gonna speedrun it tonight because for the most part I'm still gonna go out of my way in order to try and get all of those little glowy spheres because that's pretty much the one thing that decides upon what your score is. And finally, well, I don't know. I think I'm not ready yet to speedrun this game. I definitely need some more practice. Some Duh. more practice. <laughs> but that's okay. Everything is under control now. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about how the scoring system in this game works because I still have done only a handful of, of games of this so far, but oh my god. <laughs> Modeling. Yeah, and yeah, you have to be careful because your guy also happens to be pretty bouncy. Well, yeah, you want kind of some sort of mechanical bouncy. What the fuck are you? I don't know, but, but apparently you are a crunch, and this is all that matters. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, I'm really not doing too well here. <laughs> My only main gripe with this, like, aesthetic-wise, is kind of the green tint. Oh, it's like every single level of the game has its own different kind of tint. Uh, of tint. Of tint, oh maybe? Uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it probably sucks when people are colorblind. Yeah. But I don't know. If anything, I don't really think that there's a whole lot of games out here that are really made for colorblind people. And now we have our first boss encounter, but truth be told, the bosses in this game are kind of the weak point of the game. The only thing that I like about them is like the little intro screen that you get before the boss fight start. But essentially, they are just races that you have to do against one big enemy that is chasing you through the entire level, but for the most part, it still kind of looks awkward. Honestly, the, the feeling that I get out of this is that the guy is just randomly teleporting every single place. Just decided to lunge. Yep. That is some supreme rubber band AI right there. Well, it's not really rubber band, it always does this no matter what. Yeah, if this was rubber band, it would just snap back. I don't know, I seen rubber AI 
Yeah, I'm before this can't explain it. It decides to suddenly accelerate way faster than it's allowed to, is what it is. But in this case, it just kind of jumps forward. Uh oh. Okay, I did not know that you could be gas. So, yeah, I managed to succumb. Go ahead. Right now, I'm not doing very good until this one. Uh -oh. Definitely, it's not from Bandit, you're just being a dick. Yeah, pretty much, because the AI will always behave like that no matter what. Actually, you must not lose any kind of time. And we've made it to the first world of the game, the sewers. Wait, did I do better or worse? Nah, I did worse in my last time. I'm gonna have to pick up this snatch. And now we're on world two, the mines. And here See you what color this is. Yeah. This one is red and blue. This one's kind of, I don't know, maybe a little Virtual Boy-y? I don't know why it's reminding me of that. The color schemes in general seem a little... icy-ring. Mm. Actually, I kind of like these two colors together. Yeah, the color schemes for the most part are pretty minimalistic and... I, I gotta say they really succeed in conveying the, the feeling of the places that you're at right now. Yeah, this one's not too bad. The previous one, I think they were going for a gameplay aesthetic, sort of. I think someone in the chat mentioned it. It was like a T... I... 98? I don't remember my TI-89 being nearly that... Yeah. I have no idea what the fuck that is. It's Calculator. Is it? Oh, 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 so that's what the things are called. Texas Instruments and then some number that was completely meaningless. I just called it a graphing calculator. There were several, is the thing. It was that big one, we could program games on it. There were several. There were several? Yeah, there was the TA-83, the TA-86, the TA-89, there's probably a couple I'm forgetting. It was black. There were several. <laughs> Yeah, I remember, like, the first game console that I ever touched was, like, a, a Texas Instrument kind of like console. I don't really remember the exact title of it because there were, like, millions of them, but... But essentially, I just remember playing, like, one game on them. The first game console that I played with any kind of seriousness was, like, a Commodore 64. I think mine was Game Boy. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I never really had a Game Boy. It's like, my first exposure with the Game Boy was pretty much when I was offered a Super Game Boy for like one of my Christmases, and the only game that I ended up getting for it was like Link's Awakening, but hey, at least I picked a good game. I think mine was Link's, Link's, Link's Awakening too. Uh oh. The game, the game started out on. I think after that we got Sega Genesis and then Sonic. Yeah, I never had a Genesis. And then I got Fancy Star 4 and everything just went downhill. <laughs> yeah, it's like the last game console that I own. Before I bought like my, uh, my 3DS was like a Nintendo 64. Yeah, lately I've kind of been more into my handhelds and my laptop than anything. But Tokyo Jungle is on sale if you have a PlayStation 3. 
claim one dollar. I think it might be on PlayStation 4. Someone have to answer that question if someone in the chat has one. Also, I'm not really sure how emulating a, a Super Game Boy will actually work. Well, yeah, the Game Boy Color essentially is the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like a peripheral that you attach to your uh, Super Nintendo, and then you plug the Game Boy cartridge in it. Mm -hmm. And it had a set of palettes, which I remember when you stuck an old Game Boy game into a Game Boy Color, you had a choice of palettes, and there was some weird code for doing it. Oh! Yep. Was it in Game Boy Advance? Mm -hmm. uh, nah, I don't really think. I mean, Game Boy Advance was uh, advanced enough to have a pretty nice supply of colors for pretty much any game that you fit it. It was either Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color, but if you like put one of the old Game Boy games in and you like press a certain button on that screen with the the Nintendo logo, you can screw around with the palette. I know for a fact the Game Boy Color does that. Yeah, it's like, I'm pretty sure that Game Boy Color games ended up like having a, a select palette of four colors that it could always switch between and... But you had to do it with the bio screen. Yeah. While it was loading up, you had to also, hold yeah, the I'm direction give, and press a button. And yeah, I'm gonna yeah. give anyone bonus points to anyone who can tell me what the name of this level is. I gotta say, this is kind of one of the weaker points of the presentation. Sometimes it's really hard to read the titles of the level. I see an R. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much R T N. Where are you looking? It's like right where the patterns are. That isn't. I can't read it at all. Okay, this one at the very least has a name that's readable. Yeah, but sometimes it can be really hard to read. They kind of screwed up on that by accident. See that one says meat grinder. Mm-hmm. And it's becoming harder and harder to read. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the one level where I had to push boxes, well, good luck trying to figure out what the title is. Yeah, it's so many stages are in this game, by the uh... way. There's, I think, over than a hundred, but each level individually really isn't too long, as you can tell. It's like, beating a level in this game will take you only about, like, an average time of 15 seconds. Except maybe the boss levels that are a little longer, but for the most part, it's a really short and sweet experience. In the case someone wants to buy this game, how much is it cost? Uh, it's ten dollars, but right now you can get it on the Humble Bundle if you pay at least six dollars. That beat the average just keeps going up every time. It's kind of nice, actually. Actually, what is on for sale for the Humble Bundle? Uh, Wait, let's take a look. Yeah, I think that there was a bunch of nice games for this bundle. Uh, and yeah, if you buy it on Humble Bundle, by the way, you get the soundtrack, which is really amazing. That's definitely one of the major pluses for the game. The music in this game is really, really nice. Hmm, it's not Feel actually mentioning Crunch on this list. I see it. You have to pay a lot more. To pay six bucks for it. Yeah, for six bucks, it's definitely worth the. It's definitely worth a buy. Uh, okay. Woo! Oh, there we go. It's on the weekly. Yep, it's the weekly Humble Bundle. Okay, you gotta be careful.
for for this one level. If you wait too long, you're just gonna get caught up by the other blast. Oh yeah, and meanwhile, if you pay over ten dollars, you get Tower of Guns. Yeah, Tower of Guns is also pretty nice, but so far I still haven't gotten the feel for it. It's a really strange game. Health Dungeon Hearts. I have not tried that yet. Uh, which one? Dungeon Hearts. Uh, never tried it. And we have the second boss, somebody who looks like us, except that he's a giant blob that looks way bigger. And apparently it's called the Lady. We're still on the other screen. Oh yeah. Bitch! Oops. <laughs> I said that the boss fight is kind of weird because you honest, honestly in this one you don't really end up seeing the, the boss. This one is definitely more balanced than the other boss fight, but on the flip side, it's definitely harder to move through the low. Also, hi, Bringer. Hello. Hello, hello. What's up? Oh, here it is. Here's a boss. All right. Now we better get moving. You totally convinced me to buy this game. Well, buy this. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Didn't it? Of course, helped a ton that it's on the humble bundle with the soundtrack. That that was the immediate like I need this because of that. <laughs> well, I, I linked it in the chat, so then everyone could throw their money at them. Hail the super on sale on Steam too. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm not really good, good at these mechanic key games. But he, you can definitely see that this boss is not as cheap as the other one that I face because, hey, at least I have time to stop and collect all of the things. She doesn't really snap either. Yeah. For the most part, we were able to stay away from it all the time. Oh, hey, what do you know? I beat my whole score. Yeah. Alright. Also, I'm not too, too sure, but somebody's name definitely was fucked up. Alright, World 3, the tech base. Out of the lot, this is pro- uh, Oh god, yeah, that's right. <laughs> But out of the lot, I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite level, as far as the looks are concerned. Oh dear. Purple and orange. Yep. I'm still at the... And, oh my god! <laughs> Refresh. Oh, well, that was bullshit. <laughs> yeah. The level name pretty much says it all, it's too close for comfort. Oh, I was just watching the particle filter. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this color system reminds me of something, but I don't know why. Oh man, what was it? I remember some character, I don't know what character it was, that had this palette. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure what determines the score outside of the collectible. I think the time that you take and the amount of debt might be for something, but don't quote me on that, because I'm not 100% sure yet how the score works. Uh, uh, come on. I gotta get those yep, two things! It's Woo. Wario. Oh. See it now? Uh, oh my god. This level, however, is slightly confusing. Blah. I'm lost. What's going on? <laughs> All the directions, all the time. 
He teleported too fast. It's like, up until now, I was thinking this is kind of like what happens if N didn't have any gravity, and now it's doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so it's staying like N, then. It's becoming more bullshit as things go along. <laughs> okay. Help me make this more hectic and do a thing. Yeah, but for the most part, it's still pretty uh, self-explanatory. I mean, for that one level, for instance, you didn't really have anything that really made you absolutely go in a hurry, because otherwise you will die and all sort of thing. For the most part, I gotta say, this game does a good job of uh, keeping things fair. Actually, did Seamus from Metroid have orange and purple at one time? Gravity. Okay, there we go. Oh, and yeah, one nice touch that I really like too about this game is that every time that you die, it contabilizes the number of times that you died to set obstacle. For instance, it's telling me it's the third, the thirteenth time I got crushed by a wall, and it's gonna change like that every single time you die to something new. Yeah, this is a part of the game where you start needing to have a whole lot better timing, as in, instead of trying to brute force your way or whatever, now you have to pretty much time your arrival really well into the... into the thing. Oh shit, I am running out of time. <laughs> uh, I okay. think someone from Mega Man also had purple and orange too. Purple Man. Not fabulous enough. Once the uh, gravity, man. I don't know. Maybe like the uh, Mega Man Five or something. That game that uh, had like uh, Super Game Boy support or something. Uh -oh, okay. oh, was it base? Did base uh, have orange? Or Basil? Honestly, I'm not really sure. My knowledge of the Mega Man whatever is really, really hard. I'm really bad at Mega Man, but boy, I love it. Hmm? <laughs> yes, Punch Donkey! <laughs> That's boss! Neat <laughs> Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure how that, uh, how that boss came into fruition. I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to beat it, because I, I watched that video that got posted recently of them trying to get through it, and it's just... He's invulnerable. Does he wear out? Uh, I don't remember what the gimmick is to the fight, but there definitely was a rhyme and reason behind it, behind all of this. It could be beast. I don't remember when Beast wore orange, but definitely the shade of my purple is remind me of him. Yeah. Uh -oh. I definitely was stuck between a hard and a rock place. Uh, okay, that's not how the saying goes. Close enough. <laughs> I'm stuck between a place which is a rock. That place, another rock. Oh my god! I thought I was gonna do it! Yeah, you can see that at this part of the game, the game definitely starts being a little less forgiving. More so because it becomes filled a little bit more with the insta-kill obstacles instead of the obstacles that will just gradually steal your health a little bit. Oh, that explains it. He has orange on his helmet. Oh no, my god! Alright, here we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and once that you get to this level, you can see that the laser fields also get a bit more faster, so you have to be a whole lot faster as well, but that's okay, because we finally made it to the checkpoint. Double pause, can you confirm or deny that Psych is floppy with floppy ears? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be breaking the mystery. God damn it, Twitch. It's giving you some nice breather levels now. Yeah. It's like not every single level in the game is there. Uh holy hectic and all of this. Sometimes you get low levels that you don't really have any kind of time limit outside of your health slowly decreasing. I know Punch Donkey has been around for a while. Uh, I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Like a sound effect, sound like a donkey getting punched. Yeah. Alright, finally, holy shit, that took way too long for this one. Yeah, oh, that it, really shitty. Like, Yeah, I suppose this is the one reason why I don't like this world as much. It's like, once you get to the second half, you kind of get a little bit more of these levels that, honestly, you probably should have seen either in the first or the second world, because they're definitely way easier. Yeah, it seems like this is what the world should have started with, not ended with. Well, does it get worse later on? Uh, yeah, the last world that we're gonna see will be a hard one. Maybe that's being kind. Yeah, I guess. It's, it seems like it's fucking with the difficulty curve, though. Uh, yeah, this is a little se more severe than I thought. I thought it was like a few breather levels. This is a breather world. That's just weird. Breather half. Breather uh, breather? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god! For either half of the entire game? Yeah, we're already more than halfway done with the game now. Well, that's a very disgusting whatever it is that's pouring out pink bismol. <laughs> oh dear. Oh ho ho ho, that was close. Yeah, but not oh, quite. Oh, squished. Oh god, is this game getting organic? Uh... I don't know. This is an answer that I'll let you discover. I had to refresh. That's fucking Twitch. <laughs> I think it's oh. a grab one. I agree with you. Getting thrown around by those uh, fans, I guess. Yeah. You uh, definitely have to be careful because they are definitely hard to move around. At least this game doesn't do dick more move of um, the score is too low to get the shitty ending. Now this one definitely that. looks like it belongs at this point in the game. Central power unit. This is reasonably hard. Is that? Oh yeah, the last are level at? is also. Yeah. Hard. Okay, good. Ah shit! I ran out of fuel. I can't even read the name of this one. 
Yeah, sometimes the, the name's something Final Gate. Something, something Gate. Yeah, the Final Gate. It's the Final Countdown! <laughs> Alright, welcome to Earthquake City, aka the boss in this one world will keep destroying the entire landscape through the entire level. Oh, that's pink stuff. I thought it was a two. It's kept up as long. Yep. Oh, yeah. I like a worm. Oh yeah, I like the boss in this one level because at this point. I just think that it stops giving a shit entirely about how it moves. It just rolls around the entire landscape and destroys everything. So the Karmari music starts playing. Yeah, too bad that we didn't get to see it a single time, but at this point I'm not gonna give the boss a chance to reach me. The game can be pretty hard enough on its own. Pumping Station 3P. The Watching Brook? Uh, I'm no, Watching Pool? That's what I see. Matt, Watching Pool. Alright, you know. so now we're at the final world, the Boiler. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this one is gonna be all red. Go Psych, you're third. Yep. <laughs> oh god. Now we're really in virtual boy territory. Yeah, but it, at least it's not oh. like rain and juice. Oh, those are fans. I thought it was. It had a current, and I thought that'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, this level can be tricky because the entire level is on a wind tunnel, so you have to be careful. I enjoy Stealth Bastard myself. It's a fun game. Yeah, this is one of those games that I downloaded a while back and I never found the time to play it. Honestly, I think the funniest thing with the Virtual Boy is how come Nintendo somehow keeps acknowledging it. I mean, for instance, on the 3DS, there's like a Mii hat, which is like the Virtual Boy, so... It's you know, referenced to the... Um, yeah, it's also a reference to Tomodachi Life. Oh. Which actually looks like a pretty cute game. I might get it. Alright, now this is where your timing needs to be impeccable, because you have to dash through this with perfect timing in order to make it true. Oh, and yeah, of course, now we're at this one level, so now we need to add flamethrowers. It's time for you to feel the burn. I don't get it. Me neither. Oh, okay. Everything's on fire. Oh god, you're on oh, fire. Oh no, you're on fire. Oh no. Uh, ah, no. Everything's terrible. Why are you on fire? Eh, uh, everything's okay, everything's okay. I'm not inflammable. Uh, oh my god. Fire indeed hot. I keep doing really bad with those saw blades. And yeah, by the way, speaking of saw blades, there's an achievement in this game that you get for getting hit by saw blades 500 times, which is called Super Meat Boy. Ah, oh, that's nice. Well, they do look like the same kind of model for the saw blades, so. Yeah, I I'd have to say, there's probably not that many ways to do that kind of pixel art of saw blades. Not really. It's just a circle with spiky parts. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh shit. So do you take Am I even... Oops. Go ahead. 
I was gonna wonder, am I gonna make it on time, but nah, it wasn't really a thing to have. Your heart exploded? Yep. Well, we kind of were on fire for a bit. And finally got stuck between two salt pits. So, I'm guessing you take damage when you're on fire. <laughs> oh shit, oh god! <laughs> of catching on fire and being blind and everything, yeah. Everything happened. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that was great. <laughs> you got teased. Yep. While his head was on fire. Oh no! God, I, I love when that happens, so it's like, now I can't wait to see what happens. Mm -hmm. I was so close! Twitch delay, why do you ever think we're faking us? <laughs> oh! Ah. Okay, whoo, I made it this time! Spoilers. Ardren, the head counts as the <laughs> entire guy. Oh yeah, speaking of FMV game being the future, vote roundabout! Also roundabout. Uh, that was a terrible death. It's okay. weird to say that the level that's only red and red is probably, so far, the best, like, color palette. I agree, uh, actually. Actually, I like the orange and purple. It was okay. Yeah, and I think in overall, the boiler has some of my favorite levels. Yeah, this one has definitely has a twist. You're being chased by the ceiling fan, but the teleporters bring you all the way down to the end of the level, and then you're get you're getting sent all the way back up. So whenever you go to a teleporter, huh. you're not entirely sure or whether you'll still be alive as you go there. Sounds random. Well, it's not really random. It it's definitely a very controlled form of chaos. Keep it on your toes, because you yep. can't you can't always tell if you're when you're going up to the top how close you're going to be to the ceiling coming down. Yeah, I gotta say I really love how come pretty much in every level of the game they just have these walls that close in just in order to crush you. You pretty much have to keep moving at all times. This is multiplayer? Uh, unfortunately, no. yeah, unfortunately, it's not the case. I'm not even sure why there's like a 1P mark or something. Because nostalgia. Oh. Alright, boiler checkpoint. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be able to finish this game in uh, less than an hour. Well, this is a final stage. Sounds about right for this kind of game, actually. Pretty much at my favorite set of level, which also has my favorite music in the entire game. It's like, holy shit, this one track is fucking awesome. This reminds me of one of those uh, Meat Boy levels when you're in, what was it, the end? Yeah, the shutters. Yeah. Or well, this closes up behind you? Mm -hmm. uh, other way around, I believe. You open it up in front of you, and then if you're not fast enough, it closes up behind you and traps you. I remember that level. That's where my brain instantly went when I saw that. Ah, okay. I was getting really scared for a sec. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'd say it's different in the fact they actually have a health bar alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this alone is pretty helpful in playing the game. 
if you were. But that health bar is also ticking down, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And whenever you speed boost, it diminishes by a lot. You ever kill yourself by doing that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. <sighs> Maybe after you play this, you just play something relaxing. <laughs> I don't Maybe know. like a nice Kirby game. I don't know. In a way, I really find this game relaxing. Does that mean you find Kirby games intense? I don't know. The, the one time I played a Kirby game, it was really intense, but that was mainly because it was the first time I ever played a Kirby game ever. Oh shit, am I gonna make it to the end in time? I don't have time to collect everything. Because otherwise I'm gonna die. Okay, I made it. That's a ridiculous looking shave. Okay, now I'm not too sure who was trying here. Yeah, might as well get crushed a few more times. Not like you have much to live for. Uh, oh my god, why am I so bad? <laughs> you get I'm getting it crushed. Yeah, I'm getting hammered left and right right uh, now. Uh, why did you title drop? <laughs> you got a title drop? No. Tail drop all day, every day. That's because you're so... I don't know how to counter that with the word crunch in it. Yeah. Oops, I'm not got Oh, holy shit, how did I make it? Magic? Yeah, pretty much. Wizardry? Are you a wizard? Yes. Uh. You ha you like kill that thing with like a second to spare. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Uh oh shit. Speaking of killing with a minute to spare, yeah, I kind of got killed here. That one part is also pretty damn hard. It's just like, whenever you see that one wall which is slowly coming by to crush you and you have to navigate this narrow corridor filled with explosive thingies, it's really easy to fuck up. I mean, you have more time than you think, but that still doesn't mean that you're gonna be really calm and reflective upon doing all of this. Oh my god! How do diagonals work? Help me. Yeah, oh, okay. Come on! You can do it! Uh. Ah! Oh! 
Okay, so am I gonna be able to make it through after that one attempt? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's crunch in a nutshell. <laughs> and this is why this game is fantastic and you need to buy it. <laughs> Whew, okay, this time I made it. By the skin of my teeth again, but hey, at least I made it. And yeah, the final level of the game, however, well, this is the proper final level of the boiler, but that's kind of a strange level because it's like the way where you get all of the collectibles is by far the easiest one of the bunch. And it's like I never attempted to climb on the right and left side, but I'm not sure that I want to do that. Yeah, at this point, I don't even have to do anything. Just gonna get, just gonna let myself be pushed, and here we go. Just a gentle ride up. Yep. That's the one thing, the however, that I don't like. Once you get to that one level, you don't know how well you did, but because the best score thing is bug. And now we're at the final part of the game. Here he hits all of our comrades, which are all floating along with us. Now kill them. Kill them all! Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Oh dear. Now time for the daring escape part. No time to lose here, you just gotta drift. It's like, this one part really doesn't have as much challenge as the rest of the game did, but on the flip side, it's also really freaking intense. It's plot. Yeah, pretty much. In fact, you cannot even play those levels when... Uh, ah. You can only play those levels whenever you play the full storyline game. It's like, there's a level select feature in this game, but... In the level select feature, you still don't have any of these levels. Oh shit, we're the only one left! Can Aww. we make it up? My friends, Aww. Yep, everyone is dead. We're the last hope that humanity has of seeing bearded balls. Oh dear. And yes, I am I stand by that. And here we go, finish the game in less than an hour. So that means we get an achievement that didn't pop up on stream. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Good job. Good job. Jerb. Jerb. Good job. Jerb. Congratulations on escaping into future country. <laughs> future country. Honestly, future country really doesn't look that good. And everything's future falling apart. Country. Thanks for playing. Good job, psych. Yay! Everything is so. Oh god! <laughs> Oops. And it all sank. Yep. Everything and is thus, over. And thus, that little. That's plays. Yeah, that is yeah. crunch. Uh, whoops, <laughs> I did not want to go back here. Oh, well. The real eyeball starts here. Yeah. I kind of did what what they wanted me to do in order to go back to the title screen, but it just restarted the game, so I'm just going to quit in order to see what is the final score that I ended up having. Ah, I'm still in third place. Oh well. So, yeah, that will be hit for crunch. So, yeah, now it's time to do something else. What should I play next? Video games.
Yep. I like video games. But the question is, which one will we play? Mm. What for Little Heart Desires? Yeah, I, I think earlier, I, earlier yesterday, I was thinking about streaming also some FTL. So, yeah, it's the perfect opportunity for me to try and being less terrible at this game. So, why have you tried it since the update? Yeah, and it's the update that's definitely got me back into the game because the way that it controls and all really feels a lot better. Honestly, I think the game is far more playable now than it was back when it first came out. There were a, bu a bunch of things that I really didn't like, but here yeah, pretty much all of the things I didn't like about the game are gone, so why shouldn't we play it? Let's go space. Yep, let's go in space. So yeah, this stream is gonna take a five minute break just for good measure. And we'll be back with space. See so space. stay tuned. Space. 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 space.